2018 Toyota CHR. 2018 Toyota CHR Review. The CHR's distinctive styling and sporty handling transform it into a fun big to get a subcompact crossover. 3 star overall score. It's no secret that Americans wait to purchase hatchbacks and station wagons en masse anymore. But the last two decades have says people love them when they ride a little bit higher, have optional all-wheel drive and search more like an SUV, that is, a crossover. The outrageously successful Toyota RAV4 is really a prime example, and today Toyota is hoping you will have a similar affinity toward the all-new 2018 Toyota CHR. The CHR is smaller and much more affordable compared to RAV4. In fact, it turned out originally developed for Toyota's now defunct sign brand, which largely explains the CHR's flamboyant styling and sporty handling. These two key attributes, with the extensive report on standard safety measures, are definitely the main reasons to contemplate the CHR inside our opinion. Notably, we picked the 2018 Toyota CHR as one of best small SUVs because of this year. What's new? The 2018 Toyota CHR is all new for 2018. The Toyota CHR is well equipped in the base XLE form, with automatic headlights, dual zone automatic climate control and traffic adapting cruise control all standard. Considering the CHR's high starting price, when compared to the rest in the class, you could be wary of paying more for that XLE premium, our recommended trim. But it doesn't cost much more compared to XLE and includes desirable features including heated front seats as well as a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. We think it's worth paying somewhat more for the luxury and safety additions. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Toyota CHR also comes in just two trim levels, even though you do get plenty of standard features on both. The well-equipped base XLE comes packed with just about everything the CHI is offering. Stepping up on the XLE premium involves a modest price bump and adds other luxury and safety measures. Though there won't be standalone factory options, many dealer-installed accessories can be found, including a roof rack and cargo storage solutions. Every CHI is powered by way of a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine, 144 horsepower, 139 pound-feet of torque, matched to your front wheels by way of a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. Standard features for the XLE include 18-inch wheels, automatic headlights with automatic high beam control, LED daytime running lights, a rear spoiler, remote locking and unlocking, a motorist information display, adjustable driving modes, a rear view camera, an auto dimming rear view mirror, a leather wrapped controls, dual zone automatic climate control, height adjustable front seats, a 60-40 split rear seat, a cargo cover, a 7-inch touch screen, Bluetooth, as well as a 6-speaker stereo audio with HD radio and also a USB port. Several advanced safety and convenience features can also be standard, including traffic adapting cruise control, brake hold at stop lights, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, and lane departure warning and intervention. Upgrading on the XLE Premium trim gets you fog lights, keyless entry and ignition, power folding mirrors, heated front seats with two-way power lumbar with the driver, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross-traffic alert. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S within this review depend on our full test with the 2018 Toyota CHR XLE Premium. 2.0 liters in line 4, CVT, FWD. Driving. There's no making your way around it, the CHR is slow. You really must plan your moves ahead of time because there's a protracted delay before it starts moving. Once underway, acceleration is weak. That's really bad because otherwise it's actually a dynamically capable little crossover. Acceleration. The CHR is one from the slowest vehicles we've tested, 
Getting a considerable 10.6 seconds to arrive at 60 miles per hour acceleration is characterized by way of a long hesitation from a pedal stomp and then for any forward motion. This is true whether you're stopped or looking to pass slower traffic for the highway. Braking Coming with a stop from 60 miles per hour required 119 feet, that's about average for cars on this class. In panic braking tests, we experienced moderate nose dive and many residual bounds, even so the CHR tracked straight and remained controllable. In everyday driving, the brakes operate equally you'd expect. Steering There's little feedback coming with the wheel, nevertheless it feels direct and accurate within a sporty sort of way. At parking area speeds, your energy is appropriately low and weights up as speeds increase. Sport mode makes effort a tad too heavy. Handling We were happily surprised to discover how the CHR is entertaining to operate a vehicle on a twisty road, despite a lot of powerful engine along with a lack of grip from low rolling resistance tires. There's noticeable tire squeal under moderate cornering, along with the tires really how when pushed harder. Drivability the small footprint and turning radius help it become easy to maneuver the CHI into tight spaces. The transmission works fine, nevertheless it's relatively unremarkable. Though the CHI is classified being a subcompact crossover, the lotch and spoiler scrapes on parking blocks and lots of driveways. Comfort In comparison to its overall comfort, the CHI is quite good. Even so the amount of noise that creates its way to the cabin can be a letdown. Over an extended trip, that noise can add towards the fatigue factor. Everything else appears to be well executed with this regard. Seat comfort Even though there aren't lots of adjustments, leading seats offer good padding and support and keep occupants comfortable over hours. The fabric upholstery also breathes well in summer eliminating the advantages of ventilation or cooling. Ride comfort For probably the most part, the CHR delivers a comfortable ride. Smaller road imperfections are smoothed over and also they are in other small SUVs, but there is however a little jostling over moderate undulations. Noise and vibration The CHR is loud inside. There's a noticeable volume of wind noise even below highway speeds. Road noise is usually present and increases at higher speeds as well as over coarse asphalt. The engine drones just like a wounded cow under hard acceleration, therefore we noted a taxing rattle within the back in the cabin. Climate control The simple controls for your dual zone climate control allow it to become easy to operate, and also the overall performance is nice. Once the system was set, we never felt the call to watch just it. Interior The CHR's interior within reason attractive thanks with a rather simple layout. It can accommodate adult passengers in all of the seats, though there are numerous drawbacks for taller drivers and rear passengers. Despite a number of issues, we feel most drivers are going to be fine together with the interior above the long run. Is beneficial the CHR's simple layout is of interest, plus the main controls are an easy task to operate for the most part. Some with the more advanced features, for instance adaptive cruise control, were a bit more tough to figure out. Some staffers mentioned being forced to consult the owner's manual. Getting in, getting out. Front passengers have easy seat access afforded by the slightly higher seating position helping to make slipping in the cabin very easy. There's no climbing up or stooping down. Rear passengers must dip their heads just a little to clear the sloping roof line, a trade-off on the CHR's sporty styling. Driving position The leader doesn't telescope back far enough, even for average-sized drivers. As a result, you must sit closer plus much more upright than preferred. Drivers smaller of stature must be just fine. Roominess There's more interior space than you'd expect from this kind of small crossover. There's enough up front in all of the dimensions. 
the rear seats can indeed hold regular adults in decent comfort. But the thick rear roof pillar and high windows might feel a bit claustrophobic. Visibility Outward visibility is extremely good thanks for the thin and well-profiled front roof pillars. The rear window is very large enough to discover all you need in spite of the big rear pillars. And there's not much guesswork when backing to a space which means you won't ought to rely within the tiny rearview monitor. Quality The interior is well designed and uses quality materials that exceed expectations for your class. Were it not for a meticulous rattle inside back in the car, this score happens to be higher. Utility It should not be a surprise that subcompact crossovers are limited on the subject of cargo capacity. However the CHR has one on the smallest maximum spaces inside the class. You'd be best thinking of it to be a raised hatchback rather than crossover. Small item storage. There's an acceptable level of storage for one's items, with small door pockets, decent size cup holders, as well as a center armrest bin which is about average in proportions. The typical smart storage solutions that Toyota is renowned for are absent. Cargo space. With the trunk seats available, you've 19 cubic feet of cargo space, which splits the real difference between the CHR's primary competition. The maximum capacity is 36.4 cubes, and that is significantly small compared to any other subcompact crossover. Child safety seat accommodation. Latch anchors may be accessed but a rear-facing child seat requires you to move top passenger seat well forward. Technology Toyota about the whole may be lagging behind the competition on the subject of technology, as well as the CHR is definitely an example. It lacks the smartphone integration that rivals include as standard. But it offers more advanced security measures and driver assistance. Audio and navigation the head unit in the CHR is decent however, not at all impressive. It lacks some bass overall, but clarity is acceptable. The touch screen mounted atop the dash is simple to watch in a flash and operate with minimal distraction, too. Smartphone integration Puzzlingly, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will not be offered. With no factory navigation available. It is even more odd to us as the touch screen only controls audio. On top of that, we experienced occasional slowdowns within the system's response. Driver aids. We never had any frontal collision warnings, which either means it's well tuned or otherwise working, we're inclined to believe it is working. Adaptive cruise control successful and operates down to your stop. The lane keeping system can also be good. However it only alerts you together with doesn't steer you last line. Voice control The voice controls worked practically, but considering which the system only operates the audio and speak to, it's acceptable at best.